A concern that some farriers have is that in my shop behind me that I have a lot of power tools and big expensive equipment. They think that they have to have that kind of equipment. But in my rig, my portable farrier rig, I have a pretty powerful grinder and a simple drill press and that is all really that I need to have on the outside. But even uh, simpler than that, there's a way to do these shoes with hand tools that most farriers have on their own already. There's a few simple things that help you get the job done easier and I'll show you some of those right now. First thing, a lot of guys will have these spring vices and these spring vices are fine for hot rasping steel shoes but when you're having to saw the shoes and rasp them you need them to be a little bit more solid. So I have my spring vise and I put a pair of vise grips on it. Keeps it much more solid. With this clamped in the vise it's very easy to locate the drill and drill your holes. So when you go to shaping the shoes, you can either use the saw or you can rasp them to shape. So I'll just use this shoe as a, an example. It may take you more time and a little more elbow grease, but you can get it done like this. The other tool that I can use instead of grinding it or filing it by hand is you can use a four and a half inch grinder with a 24 grit disc. So this is the setup that I used for quite a number of years out when I was out in the field before I got my big grinder. Okay, so the, the four and a half inch grinder is good for shaping the shoe, but it's also the best tool for cleaning the plastic off of the clips. <clears throat> so you can see shaping can be done simply and easily with an inexpensive hand tool. Thank you.